Hello Libra, welcome to another love reading. This is going to be a reading all about how the person that you are thinking about or connecting with, how they are feeling or thinking about you or the connection, what are their energies at this time. And then we'll look at what their intentions or next potential actions will be in the near future. As always, these readings are meant to be general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest. So let's jump right in to your reading for Libra. Spirit, angels, guides, messages, guidance, insight, please, for Libra regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time, Spirit. What do we need to know about this person and their energies? towards Libra at this time. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Libra at this time? Okay, so we have the Eight of Wands. Okay. The Ten of Coin. Seven of Swords. And the Two of Coin. Hmm. Bottom of the deck, we have the devil, Capricorn energy. Well, right away, I noticed that there's no major arcanas on the board. Um, and that most of these energies are kind of conflicting with each other. Because the Eight of Wands is a card all about action, communication, things moving quickly. But the two of coin is someone that's doing too much or is busy or is juggling between two things, has a choice to make between two things. And so it's almost like there's one step forward, two steps back there because someone's not moving completely like full steam ahead. There's still something that's being worked on here. And then ten of coin is a card all about long term security, uh, family, tradition, long term commitments success, someone that's doing very well financially. Um, and the Seven of Swords is not really, they don't really go well together. Um, the Seven of Swords is someone that kind of sneaks um, through the back. <laughs> they do things outside of people's eyes. They do things like in a hidden, sneaky way, typically. Sometimes this card can mean strategic, so we will clarify and see. But when I saw the Seven of Swords and the Two of Pentacles, I thought there's an issue here. It's like someone might be trying to do things, I don't know, in a in a way that might not bring about this energy, if that makes sense. It's almost like your person, this is their goal, Eight of Wands, Ten of Coin, but this is their approach. And so I just don't see those two kind of working together. Let's get some more energies out here. Tell me more about this person's energies. Tell me more about this person's energies. And I'm actually going to put these here at the top and put the energies at the bottom, which I don't usually do that, but I kind of want to do that for these readings. Tell me more about this person's energies. This person that Libra is, has, or will be dealing with, or is thinking about. Oh, okay, I got four. Uh, mirrored souls, soulmate energy, mutual feelings, faded unions, etc. We have unexpected event. It's kind of like my tower card of this deck. Happy ending. This is like the Ten of Cups. So um, fulfillment, abundance, joy, and patiently waiting. Again, I, I get the same kind of energy. I feel like the tower and patiently waiting is kind of what I'm picking up here. It's like, instead of things just moving along, there's something that's forcing someone to like hesitate or work on something or be busy with something, distracted by something, et cetera, et cetera. Someone could be waiting for the right time. And then there's difficult decision at the bottom of the deck. Exactly. It's like there's someone that is, I don't know. It, it, it's like what, what they want to achieve, what they want to, to have here, which I feel is this Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles energy. There's like something that's disrupting that. And I kind of want to break down to see, um, not break down, but I want to break down those energies to see. Yeah, let me not have a breakdown here while I'm filming, right? <laughs> Spirit, can I get some clarity, please, on these energies for Libra? 
can get some energies, some clues, some insight on these energies for Libra. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about these energies? And this could very well be someone that you have a special connection with, with mirrored souls, someone that you might want to feature with Libra or that might want to feature with you. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. But this tower is either a tower that is happening or has happened. Um, I, I, see, I see this as a disruptive energy. So let's break all of these down. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. Why do we have the Eight of Wands here? Why is the Eight of Wands here? Two of Swords. Okay. Maybe someone's blocked or unsure, undecided about what to say, what to do. Tell me. Okay. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. Why is the Eight of Wands? Okay, that one just like fell out. Four of Cups. Yeah, okay. Um, hmm. This might be one of those instances where someone's just not sure about what to do or what to say because they're not sure about what the other person will say or respond or if they're on the same page. Fear of rejection, fear of you know, not being open to an opportunity. Um, the Two of Swords with the Four of Cups for me is someone that's blocked. They're not able to even see an opportunity that's right in front of them. So I don't think this is your person's energy. I think this might be how your person is viewing you or thinking of you when they think about whatever action or conversation they want to have here. Can I get one more? The Seven of Wands. Yeah, it's like your person's expecting some sort of block or disinterest on your side here. Maybe you you physically block this person. Maybe this person's just not sure how you'll receive them and so they're trying to kind of think around that. Yeah, and there's the two of wands. I feel like or three of wands, sorry. So it's like they're waiting before they act or communicate because of whatever this is here, because of whatever block or challenge or obstacle they um they are thinking about because these, these are their energies. So I feel like whoever this is, they're thinking about some sort of obstacle that has to do with you. Tell me about this 10 of coin. Why is the 10 of coin here? What can you tell me about the 10 of coin? Ace of cups. Yeah, this is like, again, it's the energy of something that someone wants. Maybe this is the beginning of a new relationship or the beginning of you know a new like a new start for you and this person but they're thinking of the future tell me about the ten of coin knight of swords yeah i feel like this is what they would love to do is just talk to you about this tell you how they feel or what they want with you here be honest with you bottom of the deck the knight of pentacles maybe they want to bring you an offer ask you out take you somewhere special propose something to you um like let's move together or something like that um but i feel like there's something like i don't know it's almost like why the rest of these energies if this is what this person wants tell me more about this ten of coin what do we need to know about this ten of coin yeah seven of cups choices options i feel like your person's like evaluating maybe you have options libra maybe they think that you have a lot of suitors or people that are interested in you people that they have to compete with or perhaps they think that you know if they do come forward with this knight of swords and tell you something honestly you're going to be like mm, let me think about it <laughs> instead of jumping right into it um bottom of the deck is the five of cups interesting so some sort of regret mistake thinking of the past with sadness disappointment maybe this person had this potential with you but maybe a tower happened here a separation an unexpected upheaval or reveal or some sort of event that kind of derailed this Maybe they were not honest with you with the Seven of Swords. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? 
queen of swords. Okay, so whatever this is. Okay, let me get one more. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini with the queen of swords. Tell me about the seven of swords. Again, no major arcana. So major arcanas are all about major shifts in energy. You could even think of it like most of these energies here are of like day-to-day -day details, things that someone needs to kind of like take advantage of or take charge of. But there's no major shifts in energy. And that tells me that your person's kind of, there's a progression here that will probably need to happen that hasn't happened yet. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Ace of Swords. Okay, so I have a feeling that if your person was um, hiding something or being sneaky or strategic whatever their behavior is towards you libra you know about it or they're going to tell you about it um so for example if they've been secretly spying on you like on snapchat or instagram or facebook or whatever social media you use they're going to be like hey i've been keeping tabs on you <laughs> or maybe they want to talk about their past behavior if this is their past behavior they want to be honest about it and have an uh clear the air queen of swords ace of swords um, maybe they are trying to tell you that, you know, have a conversation with you, this Eight of Wands, Knight of Swords, Ace of Swords. Maybe they've been trying to approach you with some sort of information about how they feel or what's going on in their life or, you know, I feel like they have something to say that's very important here. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords, Ace of Swords. What do we need to know about this Queen of Swords? Ace of Swords, Knight of Wands, action they want to take, motivation. Um, I feel like they want to tell you what they want to do here with the Knight of Wands, what they want to accomplish, what they want to achieve. Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck, yeah. Action. They want to take some sort of action, this person. Tell me about the Two of Coin. Why is the Two of Coin here? King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Why is the two of, still no major arcanas. I find that fascinating. Why is the two of Pentacles here? Why is the two of Pentacles here? Five of Pentacles, okay. Let me get one more. Why is the two of Pentacles here? Why is the Two of Pentacles here? I feel like this person is going back and forth because of the position that they find themselves in right now. Yeah, Four of Swords. So I don't think this person is taking any action right now because they're debating with themselves. I think this person is like feeling like they're on the outside looking in. Maybe they made a mistake with you. Maybe they, you know, completely like screwed things up here and now that they want to approach you and talk to you it's like you know crickets because they're they don't have access to you they're not close to you anymore or they're afraid of your reaction something like that and there's the empress finally a major arcana at the bottom of the deck i feel like this is how they view you you have a lot of value a lot of worth and i think also you recognize this worth within yourself even if you don't recognize this worth within yourself they know it so let's get some more insight into their energies here their thoughts feelings towards you spirit tell me more about this person's thoughts feelings towards libra towards this connection what do we need to know what do we need to know about this person's thoughts feelings energies towards Libra I wasn't ready and then what's this one I can't let you go I wasn't ready maybe they weren't ready for someone like you maybe they weren't mature enough maybe they weren't ready to commit to some someone like you because it's not just that they wouldn't want to commit to you it's like if they were to commit to you they have to do right by you and maybe they were just not ready for that. I feel guilty at the bottom of the deck here. Let's get a hidden truth oracle. What else do we need to know about this person? What are they thinking? 
feeling about Libra or this connection? What are they thinking, feeling about Libra or this connection? This one. I still, no, I will wait for a sign from you. Yeah, they're waiting. They're waiting instead of acting right now. Even though action is what they want to take. They're waiting for a sign from you. I feel like they're waiting for confirmation from you or a green light from you. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. The bottom of the deck there. Okay. So what are their next actions? Actually, what, what do I want? This deck? Yeah, let's just use this deck. What are their genuine intentions or next actions going to be, Spirit? Towards Libra, towards this connection. What are this individual's intentions, next actions towards Libra? What's this connection? Okay. Page of Cups. All right. What are their intentions next? Okay. Six of coin. I mean, this is very clear energy. What are their intentions? Next action is going to be towards Libra, towards this connection. What do we need to know? Ten of cups. Yeah. And then the eight of coin at the bottom of the deck. Very clear energy. Again, no major arcanas have come out. I Again, I feel it's, it's not a bad thing, by the way. I don't want anybody to be like, why is she harping on the major arcanas? It's just very rare in a tarot reading to not have major arcanas in a love reading, at least. I think that they're kind of they kind of like showed up on the si on the sidelines on the peripheral, right? But what that tells me is that there's still something here that's being worked on. There's still things that are kind of same old, same old. A lot of like little details, day to day tasks, day to day goals that someone's still working on needs to accomplish before there are major shifts that happen. Page of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. I, I feel like this Page of Cups is an apology. Um, I think the Six of Pentacles is them trying to balance something out, do an uh, equal give and take here. Um, I feel like this person wonders if you feel the same way because they want a Ten of Cups with you. That's their goal, Ten of Cups. And I just don't know if that's like what you're feeling here, Libra. Tell me about this Page of Cups. Oop. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, let me work on things. I'm willing to put time, effort, energy into this. Whatever this is um, requiring. That's kind of what I'm picking up here with this uh, Page of Cups. Um, tell me more about this Page of Cups. Eight of Coin is someone that takes their time, is very dutiful. They work on themselves. They work on the problem. Um, and, and they put time and effort into making something uh, work. Tell me about the uh, the Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here? Page of Cups. Justice, ooh, Major Arcana, finally. Yeah, balancing things out, making things right. And there you are, Libra, Justice. Um, I feel like they're gonna try to, I don't know, it's almost like they wanna give you what you've been wanting or what you've what you deserve. They want to make things right. Tell me about this six of coin. Tell me about this six of coin. What do we need to know about this six of coin? Okay, we have the page of wands. Wow, the wheel of fortune. And again, the seven of swords. So I think this person's literally, when I see all these energies together, I think they're going to do whatever it takes, whatever opportunity comes their way. I don't know, maybe there's a shift that is happening here with the Wheel of Fortune. Maybe things are happening in divine timing and the timing they're supposed to happen. And that's why nothing has happened until then. Or maybe this person's just waiting for a window of opportunity where... All of their sneaky observations from afar will be worth it. Maybe they're observing you with someone else and they're just waiting for that person to be gone out of the picture. Maybe they're just waiting to meet you somewhere that you frequent and try to have like a very casual conversation with you. 
Um, it sounds kind of stalkerish, but that's kind of what I'm picturing here. Page of Wands is someone that takes the initiative. And again, I get the sense that you're, it's not that your person doesn't want to take action. I definitely see them with the Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords, um, Eight of Wands. Like this is someone that wants to do something, but for whatever reason, they don't think they can do it. It's like, I'm, I'm waiting for Libra to even look in my direction before I even think about doing everything that I've been wanting to do. But their intentions are to do something about it. I just hope that they put this plan into action. I, I see them trying to kind of feel the waters out or like, you know, kind of like feel things out before they actually jump in and uh, take this risk. Because I feel like it, it might feel very risky to someone. That's why they're being so secretive, so strategic about it. Spirit, can I get one more energy? One more energy for this person that Libra is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this person? New insight into this person's energy towards Libra. Any insight. I pretend that everything is okay, but inside I'm hurting. Okay, so this person, this I can't let you go energy. I wasn't ready. I will wait for a sign from you. I feel guilty. I don't think this person has told you these things. I think they've probably acted like it didn't hurt them as much as it did or um, that they're over it, that they're okay with what happened. That's, I don't know, that's a that's a, a facade. That's, that's a farce, like what's the word? Clearly that's not real. That's them just pretending because pretending is easier than admitting the truth. So that's what I have for you, Libra. That is your person's energies at this time. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And that way you can see more videos from me in the future. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.